Guns drawn, Travis County law enforcement today moving in on an East Austin car dealership that's been under surveillance for several months. And our KXAN cameras captured it all. Workers at Lopez Auto Group are accused of preying on unsuspected buyers, in some cases selling uninspected vehicles and skirting the law to make money. And today's arrest marks the culmination of our year-long Risky Rides investigation. And as investigator Brittany Glass learned today, law enfor enforcement says it work, its work is far from over. Officers with the Travis County Constable Task Force have been working to execute four arrest warrants today here in East Austin at Lopez Auto Group. We had an inside exclusive of what those officers are calling a criminal enterprise that has been preying on unsuspecting car buyers for years. An undercover officer posed as a potential car buyer. Salesman Dexton Diedrich Young Jr. was arrested for tampering with a government record. Officers confiscated boxes of evidence, including computers and printers. And there might be material evidence in those printers. That's why I want to do that and the hard drive. We've been looking into this site since it was first busted back in 2016, and we continue to get complaints about it as we've discovered that it is still in business today. We heard from one man, another customer who walked up today, still disappointed about his experience here. Some complaints say workers are not handing over titles or even the warranty that was promised after the people purchased their vehicles. Here's what happened when one unhappy buyer went back trying to get answers. I'm going. Come the worker in this exclusive oh, viewer video is one of the four men with an arrest warrant during this investigation. He's chasing the buyer off the lot with a machete. That happened back in 2016. Same workers, same site, just a different business name. We've discovered places like this can keep reinventing themselves, leaving the customer to pay the price. And there's not a whole lot the state can do. Join us Friday on KXAN News at 10 as we continue this year-long investigation and explain why the state can't do much and why it might take more busts like this one to hold anyone accountable and shut down these operations for good. Reporting in East Austin, Brittany Glass, KXAN Investigates. We spoke with the owner of the dealership this afternoon. He lives in Houston and says that the workers are his nephews. He said he was trying to help them out, but it's not working. And now he's getting out of the business. We also reached out to the DMV regarding today's bust. They would not comment on the law enforcement investigation, but encouraged people to contact them with issues like this.